Good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Daily Download. I'm your host, Dr. Darrell R. Pulley. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for the Daily Download because the scripture says that the Lord daily loads us with his benefits. And I'm telling you, this day is already jam-packed. It is loaded with the lessons and the blessings of God. And my heart and my mind are open and ready to receive all of the good that God has for me today. And I pray that your heart and your mind are open and receptive to divine unlimited ideas. This is the day the Lord has made. We are rejoicing and we are glad in it. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, welcome to the Daily Download. Invite a friend, a family member, a neighbor, a co-worker, a classmate, a church member uh, to watch the Daily Download with you, to join you live right there in living color in real time while it's happening, uh, invite them to watch the daily download with you. I tell you, I'm still on fire uh, from this affirmation uh, that I've been saying since yesterday. Uh, I am a city set on a hill which cannot be hid. I am a city set on a hill which cannot be hid. And today we're talking about you belong on a hill. Let me say it again. You belong on a hill. I belong on a hill. This is not just a city, um, but it says where this city is. It is a city that is set on a hill, which means that there's a purpose and there's a reason. It is set there. There's an intention behind it. A city that is set on a hill, uh, which cannot be hid. Now, cities are uh, in various densities. There are various, there are various densities of cities. Some cities um, are set um, in the valley. You know, if you go to Arizona, if you go to some parts of California, and I've been there, that there are cities in the valley. Pulley point number one um, are cities in the valley, that some cities are in the valley. They are in a low place. Um, and the valley represents a lower place of consciousness. The valley represents um, your subconscious phase of mind, the receptacle that holds your past. Everything that has ever happened to you is in that subconscious mind, any thought, any feeling, any experience, any words that have ever been spoken to you, they're in that subconscious phase of mind. Your subconscious holds all of that stuff and then every now and then it bubbles up and it comes out. Every now and then it bubbles up and it comes out. Every now and then it bubbles up and it comes out. But what happens is when the stuff starts coming from the subconscious, when it starts coming from that valley place in us, we get scared and we think that something is wrong. But I would desire for you to know the truth today, that stuff from your subconscious, stuff from your past, it comes up and out so it can be healed. The reason why that fear, that pain, that hurt, that devastation, that disappointment, the reason why it comes up is so that it can come out so that it can be healed. It's like having a cold and you have that phlegm on your chest, you cough. You cough the phlegm up, you bring it up, and then you spit it out. That it's important that you get that phlegm, that mucus, out of your system so that you can be healed. You cannot be healed of that cold as long as that mucus and that phlegm is still on your chest, still in your system. It's got to come up. <laughs> and that's what the cough does, and then you spit it out, which is to release it and to let it go. So I'm encouraging somebody today that don't be devastated because the cut phlegm is coming up. Don't be de devastated because the mucus is coming up. It's coming up and out so that it can be healed. That reminds you of that valley place. So pulley point number one is um, there are cities in the valley, which means that people build their lives in the past. They build their lives, they build their city based upon stuff that happened in the past that is no longer real, that is no longer relevant for this day and for this time. So I'm saying that that's not where you belong. You don't belong in the valley. You don't belong living out of the past. If something from your past happens, it comes up and out so that it can be healed, so that you can release it, so that you can let it go. Point number two, is there also cities in the plain? Now, the plane represents um, the conscious phase of mind. The plane is level ground. You know, when you think of a plane, um, cities that are in the plane, it means that it's on level ground. 
which means it is representing for us the conscious phase of mind. Now, your conscious phase of mind has to do with um, or operating in the, your, in the consciousness of the conscious phase of mind has to do with you living according to your senses. In the plane, you live according to what you can see, what you can hear, what you can touch, what you can taste, what you can smell, what you can feel. The plane is living a plain old life that's just based upon what your senses tell you. And let me tell you that that's not where you belong. Just like you didn't belong in the valley in that lower consciousness, you do not belong in the plane, which is the sense consciousness, a life governed by the senses. You belong on a hill. You belong on a hill. You don't belong on the plane. You do not belong living a plain old life. You belong on a hill. And so many people today, they're walking by sight instead of walking by faith. That's that plain consciousness. And even when it comes to the valley, that those are the, the, those are things that you ought to walk through. Let me go back. It says, um, it says, yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death. You're not supposed to stay in the past. You're supposed to walk through the valley in the shadow of death. I fear no evil because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So pulling point number one is the uh, valley consciousness. And you don't belong in the valley. Pulling point number two, you're just supposed to pass through the valley. Don't live there. Don't establish and set up a residence in the valley. Allow that stuff from the past to pass through you. It didn't come to stay. It came to pass. So therefore, do not operate and live and build your city in the valley. Just walk through it. All right. Pulling point number two is that you're in the plane which means that now you are not walking according to faith. In the plane, you're governed by your senses. Just because you see it don't make it real. Just because you feel it don't make it real. Just because you smell it, taste it, touch it does not make it real. What's real is what God said. What's real is that which is enduring and that which lasts forever. Again, I walk by faith and not by sight. I will not live my life in a plain way governed by my senses. There's no real hope there. There's no real joy there. There's no sense of expectancy because you're just living on the plane. Whatever I see, that's what it is. Whatever I hear, that's what it is. But whose report will we believe? Will we believe the report of the Lord? Will we live beyond the plane? I want to encourage somebody today. You can live beyond the plane. You can hope again. You can dream again. You can envision again. You do not have to live your life in the plane just governed by your senses, which you see right here and right now. There's something beyond that. Let me say that again. There's something beyond the plane. And so I'm saying you belong on a hill. You belong on a hill. Come on up front with me. I belong on a hill. I will not live my life in the valley. I will not live my life um, in the plain. I belong on a hill. Pulling point number three. What does it mean when it says the hill? You belong on a hill. So there are cities in the valley, there are cities in the plain, and then there are cities on a hill. Which means that when a city is on a hill, the hill represents an elevated place. The hill represents an elevated state of consciousness. The hill represents the highest version of yourself when you are living your best life, when you are being your best self. That's on the hill, the higher consciousness. And that's what the scripture says. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. That's set on a hill. You belong on a hill, which means you belong thinking the highest thought. You belong. That's, that's your birthright as a child of God, speaking the highest words. You belong as a child of God, doing the very highest action in any situation that you are functioning in the highest level of consciousness. And so I'm encouraging you today that you belong on a hill. You belong up there. Yes. There is room for you on the hill. That's where you're supposed to be set. That's where you're supposed to live. You are a city set on a hill which cannot be hid. God's intention for you is that you be in that high place. And in the beginning, when you function in that higher level of consciousness, you begin to see other people in a higher way. 
You begin to view life in a higher way. Isn't that what the scripture says? That we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, which means that God desires for us to rest to live, to be, not just to uh, visit a higher consciousness, not to just to visit those heavenly places in Christ Jesus, but to actually live there. That's why it says we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, which means that this is where I live. And so when I live from the hill, when I live from the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, when the transitory things of this life happen, you know, they're not overwhelming me because I'm looking down on them. Because I'm looking down on my situation. I'm looking down on the circumstance. And when I look down on it, when I see it from an aerial view, it's not as big as I thought it was. If it's not the situation, it's how you're looking at it. It's whether you're looking at it from the valley. It's whether you're looking at it from the plain or whether you're looking at it from the hill. It's not the circumstance. It's where you are in consciousness, which determines how you see it. You know, you can have experience a sickness and you can allow it to keep you in a valley consciousness. You can experience pain, disease, discomfort, dysfunction, and just stay right there with what the doctor said or what the diagnosis and the prognosis is. Or you can look at that sickness, pain, and disease from the hill and say, wait a minute, I'm a child of God. I cannot inherit sickness. You know, that uh, my body is the temple of God, that, that I have a right as a child of God, that it's God's desire, that I live a happy, healthy, prosperous, and successful life. So where, what point of view, from what vantage point are you looking at that sickness? Are you looking at it from a valley consciousness, or are you looking at it from the hill consciousness, the higher consciousness in Christ? You can have a financial challenge. And it's not the financial challenge, it's how you're looking at it, based upon where you are in your consciousness. You can go around and start saying, I'm broke, I'm poor, I ain't never had nothing, every time I turn around. You can look at it from that valley consciousness, or you can look at it from that plain consciousness. Well, what I have is what I got. I can't afford to give my tithes, I can't afford to give to other people because it's just plain. This is all I got, and so I'm just trying to live off of this and see what it is that you have coming in as your source as opposed to a resource. Or you can come to the, the hell. You can come to that higher place in consciousness and say, wait a minute. My birth rises is increase, abundance, overflow, and more than enough. I'm an heir of God and a joint heir with Christ Jesus. We think it's the situation. We think it's the circumstance. But it's not the situation. It's where you are in consciousness, which determines how you see it, how you think about it, how you speak about it, how you respond to it. It's based upon where you are in your consciousness. You can have an issue come up in a relationship. And based upon where you are in the valley, it can take you into a place of depression and, and anxiety and suicide. Or you can take, and from a plain perspective, and just say, you know what? You know, I, I'm just by myself, which is me, myself, and I. And so I'm just relying on me. You know, I can't be getting and connected with other people because people hurt you and let you down. So this is what it is. You know, at that plane, or you can look at it from a higher perspective. You can look at it from the hill and say, you know, this issue happened in this relationship, but this was this person. This was this situation. This was where I was. It was a lesson that I needed to learn. It was a blessing that I needed to experience. But I'm not going to allow that to determine what I do with loving my children and loving my husband, my wife, my spouse. I'm not going to allow that to determine how I treat my brothers and my sisters of the universe. No, I'm looking at it from a higher perspective. It happened so that I could get the lesson and the blessing from it. So I'm saying to you today, you belong on a hill. You belong on a higher elevated place. And I'm inviting you to the hill. Come on up higher. Come on up out of that valley consciousness. Come on up to the hill. Come on out of that plain consciousness. Come on up to the hill. Come up to the higher place in consciousness because you are a city set on a hill that cannot be hid. I love you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much for being a part of the Daily Download. Remember to, uh, if, you, if you're a first-time guest, we welcome you to the Daily Download. You can like and follow the Dr. Durant R. Pulley page so you can get notifications when we're air, on the air. If you miss um, a Daily Download, you can go to our YouTube channel, Dr. Durant R. Pulley, and catch up on past videos. Um, and I'm just asking you today to like it, to share it on your page, to share with 
somebody else this affirmation, I am a city set on a hill which cannot be hit. I belong on the hill. I'm coming about this valley. I'm coming about this plain. I'm ascending to the hill, to the higher place, to the higher con. I love you so much. God bless you. Thank you so much for being a part. Until tomorrow at 6.30 a.m., remember, God is doing something wonderful in me, and God is doing something wonderful in you.